we've had science fiction movies before, but this is a first of its kind. The world's first floating skyscraper to hang from an asteroid. You know what they say, don't try this at home. Sky gardens and floating cities have already existed in China and the Pacific, but experimental architectural design has just advanced one step further. An asteroid 50,000 kilometers in the air will be suspended from a skyscraper designed by New York-based architects. Do you want to know more about the world's first floating skyscraper to hang from an asteroid? But before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel, Lux Luxury, and hit the notification bell to be updated whenever we upload other videos. The Analima is suspended from an asteroid by a rope that is many kilometers long, and it is roughly 32,000 meters high. This is not a building that already exists, and it is not a viable plan in case that wasn't clear. It's not a joke though, it was created by the Clouds Architecture Office, a company that specializes in strange conceptual architecture. The partners at Clouds AO prefer to think about the potential of the immaterial and work to create conditions that allow for a resonant experience by the synthesis of ideas through design. In contrast to other architects who are preoccupied with silly things like structural engineering or physical necessities. Once you move into this actual building, you would be essentially cut off from the rest of the world. Despite returning to the same location every day, you wouldn't just hang out over downtown Manhattan because the asteroid that the Analima would hang from would be in geosynchronous orbit. Geosynchronous satellites do not remain over one specific location on the Earth because of the inclination of the Earth's orbit. They follow a figure-eight shape. According to the drawings, the tower would move at varying rates with respect to the ground, with the slowest speeds occurring at the top and bottom of each loop. This would depend on whatever part of the figure 8 it was traveling along. The asteroid's orbit would be adjusted so that it passed over New York City during the tower's slowest portion of its journey. The skyscraper will use what Cloud's architecture office refers to as the Universal Orbital Support System to suspend the structure from an orbiting asteroid using strong cables, according to the company's website, citing NASA's effort to capture and redirect an asteroid scheduled for 2021, which is presently not included in NASA's next budget, so its future is uncertain. They argue, though, that capturing and controlling asteroids won't be all that rare in the future. Rudakovich responded, Since humans emerged from caves, our buildings have been growing even taller and lighter. We believe that someday buildings will break free from the Earth's surface, releasing us from harmful floods, earthquakes, and tsunamis. Analima Tower is a speculative idea for how this may be accomplished sometime in the future. The orbital path, which will cross the northern and southern hemispheres in a 24-hour figure-eight arrangement, will pass over important cities like Havana, Panama City, and of course, New York, before returning the skyscraper to its original place at the end of the day. According to the plans, the tower will be more than just a sizable skyscraper. Rather, it will resemble a floating city with distinct areas for dining, shopping, and entertainment at the bottom, offices for businesses, a garden and agricultural area, a residential area, and even a special place of worship. It will even take use of its special location by using solar panels to generate energy and a filter system to collect rainwater and condensation from the clouds to produce fresh water. Before we continue, make sure to like the video and leave a comment. Additionally, according to the designs, anyone traveling to Analima's highest points would enjoy an additional 45 minutes of daylight and an elevation of 32,000 meters. Of course, those who ventured so high would require a spacesuit in order to walk outside due to the near vacuum and predicted minus 40 degree temperatures. So, assuming there is a rigorous time limit on how long you have to board before the building drifts away, you would board your new house in New York at 1 p.m. Then, you'd move at an average speed of around 300 miles per hour in the direction of the Southern Hemisphere. Since the other end of your sky elliptical home's journey appears to be off the west coast of Peru, it appears likely that the only actual port for it would be in Midtown Manhattan, 
your sky home would only really be reachable at either end of its elliptical path. Although you might be able to jump off at other locations, you'll have to figure out how to get back on. You would probably simply stay in the Adelima all the time, given how onerous the boarding and disembarking process would be. Also keep in mind that you would spend all of your time indoors. The lowest sections are the offices, but even those are high enough to be very uncomfortable in the wind. Around 8,000 meters above the ground, where it is negative 35 degrees Fahrenheit and little oxygen, the residential areas would float. It would be like to reside in close to Everest summit while enjoying luxurious condo amenities. So why would anyone want to construct an Earth-orbiting skyscraper that is specified in the plans? The Analima Tower will command record prices, justifying its enormous cost of construction. If the recent surge in residential skyscrapers is any indication, harnessing the force of planetary design thinking, it taps into the need for extreme height, solitude, and perpetual mobility. Moreover, if you were to picture what your life would be like there, you would have an additional 40 minutes of daylight each day. Birds would occasionally crash into lower windows. The apartments will be high enough to avoid bird hits because they often occur below 3,000 feet, but the lower levels will be covered in bird guts. Your rent will undoubtedly take into account the $400 million in damages caused by these collisions each year. Furthermore, you don't want to be the window cleaner who must go outside to clean that off. You are still not safe from jets at 8,000 meters. The Analima would pass over dozens of air traffic control towers every day, so a huge floating pillar would be a challenge. However, that is their issue, right? Redirecting aircraft is not a concern for you, the resident. Given that you'll be traveling directly through the Gulf of Mexico during a hurricane, you might want to be concerned about what might happen. Or perhaps they talked about how terrible it would be to sit through a thunderstorm. The plus is that you can take an elevator to the top and watch the sunset again after watching it from the bottom. So what do you think about the idea of the world's first floating skyscraper to hang from an asteroid? Make sure to like this video and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell to be updated whenever we post new videos. If you want more videos like this, you can always check out our other videos by visiting our channel. As always, this is the Lugs Luxury Channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.